In the CS2 Armory update, 33 different weapon charms were added to the game. These are detachable cosmetic items that dangle from your weapon to give it more character. At first, people thought these were pretty one-dimensional, boring items ripped from the game that shall not be named, but then soon realized every single one of them are pattern-based. And unlike most pattern-based items, which usually have a pattern range from 0 to 1,000, charms actually have a range of 0 to 100,000 each with a unique color or pattern, providing a much larger color gradient spectrum. This discovery breathed life into them and provided a near infinite number of possibilities when it comes to combinations while crafting. But all 33 of the charms are unique and they're still quite new, so the goal of this video is to provide as much information about these unique patterns as possible, so you guys know what exists and what to look out for. For this video though, I'm going to leave out exact numbers when it comes to pricing because these items are so new that it's essentially guaranteed that the current prices are are going to change drastically. There were two charm collections added to the game, the missing link charms and the small arms charms. And within each charm collection, there are four different rarities, blue, purple, pink, and red which we're used to, but the names for these categorizations have changed for charms. Blue is called high grade, purple is remarkable, pink is exotic, and red is extraordinary. That being said, I'm going to start with the missing link charms, and I'll be covering them in ascending order of rarity. I'm giving away this Stat Track Factory new Ursus Knife Tiger Tooth when we hit 50,000 subscribers. If you'd like to enter for a chance to win, check out the community post. I'll leave a link to that in the description below. Before I get into it, today's sponsor SkinSwap wants to sponsor you with a free case. SkinSwap is a trustworthy skin trading website where you can buy, trade, and even sell your skins for real money. They offer a variety of different payout methods and they're also always running giveaways. So if you want a free case, a chance at a knife, and a 40% deposit bonus, sign up with my link in the description today. So first, we have high grade. As you can see, thanks to CSROI, high grade charms have a 1 in 1.25 or an 80% chance of being opened from the charm collections. The first high grade charm we'll cover from the Missing Links collection is Lil Ava. She is currently the cheapest charm in the collection. By the way, something small but important to note is that Pattern Zero is unobtainable on every single charm. So everything we talk about today will be all 100,000 obtainable patterns from Pattern 1 to 100,000. Lil Ava has three distinct colors across her 100,000 patterns, green, brown, and purple. The only part of Lil Ava that changes colors with the patterns is her vest and her headphones, or earmuffs, whatever those are. Why would an FBI agent be wearing headphones on the battlefield? I digress. With different gradients of the three colors throughout, making for some patterns that you could consider other colors like beige and pink. Pattern number one is the maximum obtainable green pattern, and pattern number 100,000 is the max purple. On screen now is every pattern multiple of 10,000. As you can see, the gradient goes from green, to beige, to brown, to pink, and finally to purple. Other than pattern 1 and pattern 100,000, it is quite subjective which patterns have the maximum amount of each color. Everyone is going to think something slightly different from the next person. But for the sake of this guide, I'll just use my best personal judgment, so don't cook me too hard in the comments. Obviously, pattern 1 is max green, then I'd consider pattern 25,000 maximum brown green, or what I'd call beige, then pattern 45,000 is maximum brown, pattern 65,000 is maximum pink, and pattern 100,000 is max purple. Like I said, every person will likely see this slightly differently, but that's the beauty of skins. The beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Also, I'm going to refrain from giving exact number pattern ranges for specific colors. It is very ambiguous on what specific pattern number the color begins to shift to a different one, but you should be able to get a good grasp on the ranges just by me listing which patterns I think are the maxes. By the way, if you guys want to go check these patterns out for yourself, Monkey Business on Twitter released a charm inspect site, so shout out to him, and I'll leave a link to his Twitter post and the website in the description. This video wouldn't be possible without him. The next high grade charm from the Missing Links collection is Lil Crass. The only aspect of Lil Crass that changes colors across the patterns is his headband. His headband has five distinct colors, red, orange, yellow, green, and blue with different combinations of each throughout the gradient. Pattern one is the maximum red pattern and pattern 100,000 is the maximum blue pattern. On screen now is every pattern multiple of 10,000. After further inspection, I'd consider pattern one maximum red, pattern 40, thousand maximum orange, pattern 65,000 maximum yellow, pattern 90,000 maximum green, and pattern 100,000 maximum blue. This of course means that blue patterns are inherently rarer than the rest of the colors as they have less patterns that fall under what would be considered blue. Next up we have Pinch of Salt. Pinch of Salt has the widest variety of colors thus far, having seven distinct colors in purple, pink, red, 
orange, yellow, green, and blue. The entire base color of this charm changes with the patterns. On screen now is every pattern multiple of 10,000. There are so many colors here that there is really no sense in me even attempting to point out the best max patterns, but I'll give it my best shot. I'd consider pattern 10,000 the max purple pattern, pattern 35,000 max pink, pattern 40,000 max red, pattern 45,000 max orange, pattern 57,500 max yellow, pattern 75,000 max green, and pattern 100,000 max blue. The next high grade charm is Big Kev. The parts of Big Kev that change color are his shirt and tie. They have four distinct colors, pink, purple, blue, and turquoise. Pattern 1 is the color closest to red, and pattern 100,000 is the max turquoise pattern. On screen now is every pattern multiple of 10,000. It's quite hard for me to determine what you'd consider the max color patterns here, especially in the pink slash magenta range, but outside of the first 50,000 patterns, I'd consider pattern 65,000 the best regular purple pattern, pattern 75,000 the best regular blue pattern, and pattern 100,000, the max turquoise pattern. Again, the blue patterns are inherently rarer than the pink ones, as only 25,000 or so patterns fall in that range, whereas there are around 50,000 pink patterns. Next up, we have the hot sauce charm. There are four distinct colors on hot sauce, which are red, orange, brown, and yellow. When looking at the charm, the right side of its body is what changes color. Pattern 1 is the max red color, and pattern 100,000 is max yellow. On screen now is every multiple of 10,000. I'd consider pattern 50,000 max orange and 75,000 maximum brown. Here, yellow patterns are the most rare as only 10,000 or so fall in that range. The final high grade charm from the Missing Links collection is Lil Sass. Lil Sass is currently the most expensive high grade charm from the Missing Links collection. For Lil Sass, only the eye color changes with the pattern. Similarly to Pinch of Salt, there is such a wide variety of colors. The entire rainbow is visible from pattern 1 to 100,000. On screen now is every pattern multiple of 10,000. Pattern 1 is max red, pattern 5,000 is max orange, Pattern 20,000 is max yellow, pattern 40,000 is max green, pattern 70,000 is max blue, pattern 85,000 is max purple, and pattern 100,000 is max pink. By the way, I saw that pattern 1 sold for $800. Is that a 200 IQ play or the dumbest decision ever? Next up are the Remarkable Rarity Missing Link charms. These charms have a 1 in 6.24 chance or about a 16% chance of being unboxed. First, and the current cheapest Remarkable Rarity charm from this collection is Lil Squatch. Lil Squatch has six distinct colors. Orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, and pink. Lil Squatch's socks, shorts, and headband change color with the patterns. On screen now is every pattern multiple of 10,000. Pattern 1 is max orange. Pattern 12,500 is max yellow. Pattern 30,000 is max green. Pattern 55,000 is max turquoise. Pattern 65,000 is max regular blue. Pattern 75,000 is max purple. And pattern 100,000 is max pink. Next is That's Bananas. That's Bananas has three distinct colors, brown, yellow, and green. The entire base color of the banana changes, aka the peel. On screen now is every pattern multiple of 10,000. Pattern 1 is the maximum brown color, and pattern 100,000 is the maximum green. I really like the concept of this one, as the colors show the actual stages of ripeness of a banana. It's quite difficult to determine what the maximum yellow pattern would actually be, but I'd personally consider it to be pattern 75,000. Everything below that starts slowly browning, and everything above that begins to turn green. Next up is Lil Sandy. Like some of the previous charms on this list, Sandy displays every color in the rainbow. As the pattern changes, so does the color of her flip-flops, bathing suit, and sunglasses. On screen now is every pattern multiple of 10,000. Pattern 1 is maximum red, and pattern 100,000 is maximum pink. There is such a large spectrum of colors here, I won't even attempt to determine all of the maxes, but some of my personal favorites are 40,000, which is extremely green, 75,000, which is super blue, and 85,000, which is very purple. Next up is Lil Teacup. Unlike any of the other charms we've seen on this list, rather than changing colors across the 100,000 patterns, Lil Teacup changes design completely. Lil Teacup remains blue and white across all 100,000 obtainable patterns, but the design showing on the body of the charm changes completely. This charm is presumably meant to resemble that of fine china kitchenware. Some of the different designs include different clouds, mountains, and soldiers, but the coolest ones are the ones with stickers that say different things, like Rush B or don't peek, and the big words that show up which say things like bang and smoke. Though this won't be as useful as for the charms that have a color shift, on screen now is every pattern multiple of 10,000 so you can start to have an idea of what things change. I'm sure there will be a lot of easter egg patterns discovered
covered over the coming months, but some of my current favorites are patterns above 99,500, which have the word smoke centered on the charm's chest. And I quite like this one, pattern 93,000, which has the Rush B sticker on the right side of its head, which is extremely visible when applied to a weapon. Next is Chicken Lil. Chicken Lil has a plethora of different colors across the 100,000 patterns. Four parts of the chicken change color. Its feet, waddle, beak, and cone. And differently from some of the previous charms, different parts of the chicken change color independently from one another, meaning that on some patterns, the beak and feet are actually different than the comb and waddle. On screen now is every pattern multiple of 10,000. Some of my favorite patterns are pattern 35,000, which is the all pink chicken, and pattern 50,000, which just looks like a regular chicken. The final and most expensive remarkable charm from this collection is Lil Whiskers. Lil Whiskers has a wide array of colors, including dark blue, purple, Purple, pink, brown, yellow, green, and turquoise. The entire base fur color of the charm changes across the patterns. On screen now is every pattern multiple of 10,000. Pattern 1 is the max dark blue pattern, and pattern 100,000 is the max turquoise. I'll refrain from trying to pinpoint max color patterns on this one, but I will say pattern 1 is my favorite because it reminds me of Avatar. Now let's cover the exotic rarity charms from this collection. These charms have about a 1 in 31.2 or a 3.2% chance to be unboxed. The first and least expensive exotic charm is Diner Dog. Similarly to Lil Teacup, rather than changing color across the 100,000 patterns, Diner Dog changes design completely. That being said, a lot of the different designs on Diner Dog actually have different colors, so as the overall design changes, the color of each design does too. On screen now is every pattern multiple of 10,000. Similarly to Teacup, I'm sure some cool easter eggs will be found on this guy in the coming months, but as of right now, I'm digging the ones with the eye centered on the body. This charm reminds me a lot of the Pop-Op Op skin. The next charm in the exotic rarity is Lil Monster. For Lil Monster, as the pattern changes, so does the color of its tongue. Lil Monster's tongue has five distinct colors. Red, orange, yellow, green, and blue. On screen now is every pattern multiple of 10,000. As you can see, pattern 1 is the max red pattern, and pattern 100,000 is the max blue. I'd personally consider pattern 10,000 max orange, pattern 25,000 max yellow, pattern 45,000 max green, and pattern 100,000 max blue. For this guy, red patterns are much rarer than blue patterns on the opposite side of the spectrum, though I do personally think the dark blue slash purple patterns look much better. The final and most expensive exotic charm in the Missing Link collection is the Diamond Dog. Rather than changing colors or patterns, the Diamond Dog charm is unique in its own way as the higher up in the patterns you go, the duller the charm gets. What I mean is, pattern 1 is extremely shiny, and pattern 100,000 is very dull. On screen now is every pattern multiple of 10,000, though this can be kind of difficult to see in a screenshot, so here's a quick side-by-side -side video of pattern 1 and pattern 100,000. Finally, let's cover the extraordinary rarity charms from this collection. These charms have a 1 in 156 or a 0.64% chance to be unboxed. The less expensive of the two extraordinary rarity charms from this collection is the Hot Worst charm. This charm is a hot dog with a sparkly flame on the lower half of its body. The flame is primarily what changes colors across the 100,000 patterns, but the body of the hot dog actually varies in darkness too. First, take a look at every pattern multiple of 10,000. As you can see, even as the pattern increases, the darkness of the dog varies. The only thing that changes linearly is the amount of rainbow in the flame, but I actually figured out how to determine the darkness on the dog. Here, just take a look at pattern 1, 10,000, and 20,000. Now I'm going to add patterns 5,000 and 15,000 into the mix. As you can see, things progress normally from 1 to 15,000, getting darker at every level, but then at 20,000 the color reverts back to that of what it was on pattern 1. Now take a look when I add pattern 19,999 into the mix. This is the darkest the dog can get. The darkness of the dog actually changes in groups of 20,000, getting linearly darker from pattern 1 to 19,999, and resetting at 20,000 and doing so in every group of 20,000 following, meaning that patterns 19,999, 39,999, 59,999, 79,999, and 99,999 are all equally dark in terms of hot dog body color. Similarly, patterns 1, 20,000, 40,000, 60,000, 
80,000 and 100,000 all have the lightest possible hot dog body color. This means that the darker dogs are actually rarer as there are only 5 max dark patterns in comparison to the 6 max light patterns. And this is exceptionally interesting because this is the first instance we've seen where a pattern near the extreme might actually be more sought after than the extreme itself. I don't know, I personally like pattern 99,999 a lot more than pattern 100,000. What do you guys think? The final and most expensive charm from the Missing Links collection is the Hot Howl. The Hot Howl is another unique one. Rather than the entire color of the charm changing across the patterns, the higher up in the patterns you go, the less red and more yellow the sparkles on the body become. On screen now is every pattern multiple of 10,000. As you can see, the closer you get to pattern 1, the more red sparkles exist on the Howl. I personally think this rarer red color looks much better than the more common orange and yellow variants. Alright, that's it for the Missing Link collection. Now we'll cover the Small Arms Charm collection. Let's again start with the high grade charms. First up in the least expensive high grade charm is the Backsplash charm. The Backsplash charm is a wooden looking miniature MAC-10 with waves across the body. There are three distinct colors across the 100,000 patterns, green, blue, and purple. The entire body of the gun changes colors across the patterns. On screen now is every pattern multiple of 10,000. Pattern 1 is the most brown colored green, pattern 25,000 is the max green, pattern 55,000 is max turquoise, pattern 80,000 is max blue, and pattern 100,000 is max purple. Obviously, the purple patterns are rarer than the green ones. Next up is the Lil Cap Gun. Lil Cap Gun is a miniature Tech 9 where the tip of the barrel changes color. There are three distinct colors. Green, yellow, and orange. On screen now is every pattern multiple of 10,000. Pattern 1 is the max green, pattern 35,000 is max yellow, pattern 90,000 is max orange, and pattern 100,000 is the darkest orange nearing red pattern. I'm personally the biggest fan of the vibrant orange patterns, but the greens and reds on the extremes are rarer. Next up is the Stitch Loaded Charm. The Stitch Loaded Charm is a mini USPS that looks knitted. The charm is made up of two colors the dull primary body color of the weapon, and the bright secondary color. Both colors change across the 100,000 patterns, but the brighter secondary color is the main focus. On screen now is every pattern multiple of 10,000. As you can see, there is a large spectrum of colors across this charm. Unlike a lot of these charms, there is a wide range of colors on both the primary and secondary sections of the charm. It would be futile for me to attempt to pinpoint every max color pattern here, but I will say I'm a big fan of pattern 75,000 as it seems to have the most contrast as the base stitch color is the darkest and the secondary yellow color is quite bright. Next up, we have the Pocket Op Charm. As the name suggests, this is a miniature op. Like the last charm, there are a lot of colors across the patterns, including green, blue, purple, red, and brown. The body and scope of the gun are what changes colors across the 100,000 patterns. Funnily, the glass and the scope actually changes colors too. On screen now is every pattern multiple of 10,000. Pattern 1 is what looks to be the same color as the default op we know and love. Then there are some green, blue, and some purple, and then pattern 100,000 is the max brown color. I think my personal favorite is pattern 60,000, which is a deep purple. The next high grade charm from this collection is the Whittle Knife. This one is quite simple as the darkness of the wood changes linearly across the 100,000 patterns. On screen now is every pattern multiple of 10,000. As you can see, pattern 1 is a very light colored wood which sort of resembles birch wood, and pattern 100,000 is the darkest color which almost resembles a red wood. The final and most expensive high grade charm from this collection is Baby's AK. The charm is similar to the Pocket Op in that it is a miniature version of a gun, this time an AK-47 though, but it's even more similar to the Whittle Knife that we just covered because of the way the wood on the AK changes colors. On screen now is every pattern multiple of 10,000. Opposite from the Whittle Knife though, pattern 1 is the max red color wood, and as we go up in the pattern numbers, the wood becomes lighter and lighter with pattern 100,000 having a very light, almost birch colored wood. I really like the way the max red version of this charm looks. Next up are the Remarkable Rarity Charms. First up in the current cheapest remarkable charm from this collection is the Hot Hands Charm. Similarly to the Lil Cap Gun, this charm resembles a miniature Tech 9. Instead of the tip and body differing in color like the Cap Gun though, the color here is continuous across the entire charm. There are three distinct colors across the 100,000 patterns, purple, red, and orange. On screen now is every pattern multiple of 10,000. As you can see, pattern 1 is the max purple, and pattern 100,000 is max orange. The majority of the 100,000 patterns for this charm fall 
fall in the purple range, and the orange ones near the top extreme are much rarer. I also really like pattern 60,000, which seems to be the maximum red pattern. The next remarkable charm we have is the Disco Mac. This is probably my favorite charm from the entire armory. This charm has the exact same MAC-10 body as the Backsplash from the high grade rarity, but this time around, the MAC-10 is covered in diamonds. The entire base color of the charm changes across the 100,000 patterns, and there is a wide range of them. This charm includes purple, pink, yellow, green, blue, and every combination in between. On screen now is every pattern multiple of 10,000. Pattern 1 is the max purple pattern, and pattern 100,000 is the maximum blue. Pattern 1 is easily my favorite, but I also really like pattern 40,000, which sits right in between the pink and the yellow, creating this super clean peach color. Next up, we have the pop art. This charm is very unique. It resembles a miniature M4A1S with a comic style skin on it. On the silencer, there is a small section which has colors within it. It's hard to articulate exactly how the colors change across the 100,000 patterns because they are very similar and it isn't a solid color throughout. On screen now is every pattern multiple of 10 thousand. I personally don't see these charms varying much in price as there aren't any particularly special ones from what I can tell. Next in the collection is the Glamour Shot. This charm has the same USPS body as the Stitch Loaded but is much different in style. Across the 100,000 patterns, the only shift is the body color of the pistol. On screen now is every pattern multiple of 10,000. As you can see, the color spectrum for the Glamour Shot is primarily reds, purples, and blues. Pattern 1 is the max red pattern and pattern 100,000 is max turquoise. Weird the diamonds on this charm don't dull across the patterns as they did on the diamond dog from earlier. My favorite is pattern 65,000, which is a deep purple color. The final and most expensive remarkable rarity charm is the diecast AK. I have easily seen the most noise being made about this charm online. People seem to love this thing. On screen now is every pattern multiple of 10,000. The three most sought after ones as of now are the golds, reds, and blues. Pattern one is max gold, and pattern 100,000 is max light blue, which is perfect for case hardens. But I have seen some debate online about which is max red, pattern 21,500 or pattern 22,000. And I have to say, I think pattern 22,000 is more of a vibrant ruby red. Here are the two side by side. I'll include a full pattern range guide for this charm on screen now that I found on Twitter. Next up are the exotic charms. The cheapest exotic charm from this collection is Lil Squirt. Lil Squirt is another M4A1S style charm similar to the pop art. This charm, however, is designed like a water gun. On screen now is every pattern multiple of 10,000. As you can see, the back of the stock, the top of the gun, and the magazine change color. There are four distinct colors shown in green, blue, purple, and pink. Pattern one is the max green, and pattern 100,000 is max pink. I think pattern one looks the best as the green is as close to the rest of the green color that remains unchanged across the 100,000 patterns. The next exotic charm is the Titanium Op. The Titanium Op has the same charm body as the Pocket Op from earlier. On screen now is every pattern multiple of 10,000 for the Titanium Op. There are two main colors seen throughout the Op patterns. The primary body color and the secondary color, which is shown less but is most apparent on the underside of the barrel and the center of the body. Both colors change across the 100,000 patterns. For the sake of this video, I'll refer to the patterns by their main color. Pattern 1 is the maximum gold, and pattern 100,000 is max purple. I really like the look of the max gold one as the secondary color is light blue, giving off a reverse case hardened vibe. The final and most expensive exotic charm is the semi precious. Aside from the diecast AK, I think I've seen the most noise about this charm online. On screen now is every pattern multiple of 10,000. As you can see, pattern one is the maximum green pattern, which resembles that of a gamma Doppler emerald, and pattern 100,000 is the maximum purple pattern, which resembles that of a Doppler black pearl. The closer you get to the extremes, the better this charm looks and the more expensive it will be as well. Although I love purple, I don't really like the way that the purple gets lighter and more pink between 90,000 and 100,000. I actually like the way the darker purple pattern of 90,000 looks more than that of 100,000. So that being said, I'd have to say I think the emerald pattern ones will likely end up being the fan favorite. Who knows though? Finally, we have the extraordinary rarity charms from the small arms collection. The cheaper of the two charms is the baby carrot CT. On screen, screen now is every pattern multiple of 10,000. As you can see, the hue of the gold changes throughout the 100,000 patterns. Pattern 1 starts off as a bright rose gold color, and as the pattern number increases, the color goes
goes through a bronze-like stage, ending up in a darker gold color at pattern 100,000. I personally like the way the charm looks most around the 70 to 80,000 range as it no longer looks rosy but isn't yet too dark. The last extraordinary and most expensive charm from the entire collection is the Baby Carrot T. This charm goes through the exact same color changing process as the CT version. On screen now is every pattern multiple of 10,000. Again, I am most fond of the patterns in the 70 to 80,000 range as it's the shiniest and brightest gold of the entire 100,000 patterns. All right, boys, that's it for this guy. Like I said at the beginning, I didn't want to be the one to try to create the exact ranges for each color as it is quite ambiguous and I'm sure the patterns that are decided to be the consensus best will continue to change in the coming months. The goal of this video was just to give you a complete introduction into these charms so you can see all of the possible patterns and decide for yourself which you think is the best. If this video helped you, please drop a like. And hey, I'm about to do 30 days of live streaming on Twitch in a row. I'll be hosting a bunch of viewer events and giving away a ton of skins. If that sounds fun to you, the link to my Twitch is in the description below. Drop a follow and join the Discord for upcoming updates about the events. Peace, boys. If you enjoyed this video, YouTube thinks you'll like this one too. Oh yeah, and YouTube told me 75% of you aren't subscribed yet, so go thumb wrestle that subscribe button down below.